suppose the average number of plane crashes in an airport located at a geographically difficult area is 2 per year. We want to find out what is the probability that in any given year, 4 such crashes will occur. We also want to find out what is the maximum number of air crashes in any given year with 90% certainty. So for this example, we will be using the Poisson's distribution. Now how can the Poisson's distributions be used? If the average rate at which the specific event happens uh, within a specified time frame is known or can be determined, for example, say event A happens on average x times per hour, then the Poisson's distribution can be used as follows. To determine how much variation there will likely be from that average number of occurrences and to determine the probable maximum and minimum number of times the event will occur within the specified time frame. So does it away the parameters for Poisson's distribution? In Poisson's distribution, first of all, for the first parameter to be obeyed is interval of observation is fixed. So interval of observation in this case is one year. We want to find out the probability of air crash in any single year. Second is the occurrences uh, must be independent. In our case, one air crash doesn't affect the other. So the occurrences are independent. And the third parameter is the average rate of event is constant. In our example, we have said that the mean is two air crashes per year. So all these points are the parameters for Poisson's distribution. To carry out the Poisson's distribution with the minute half, we go to the graph and we click the probability distribution plot. Here, we should select the view probability and click on OK. We are interested in Poisson's distribution. We select Poisson in the distribution panel and the mean is 2 air crashes per year. So we write 2 in the mean. We then go to the shaded area. Now we want to find out the probability for uh, exactly 4 number of uh, crashes in any given year. So we select the x value because the number 4 which is the number of air crashes in any given year is in the numerical form. So we select the x value and then we select the middle since we do not have a second mid value. So we write 4 at both x value 1 and x value 2 and click on OK. A graph is generated, so the probability for exactly 4 air crashes is 9%, which is pretty high. Now let us look the second scenario. We have to find the maximum number of air crashes with 90% probability in any given year. So for that, we go to the graph, we go to the probability distribution, click the view probability and then click OK. So this is a Poisson distribution. And the mean is 2. We go to the shaded region. Now, now we have to define the shaded area by the probability. And the probability is 90%, which is 0 0.9. Now, we have to be 90% certain here. We click the left tail because left tail sets those areas from 0 to 90%. As we have to find the maximum number of air crashes with 90% certainty, we write here 0 0.9 and click on OK.